unpacking today is for Laura. Oh, I also forgot to mention, here's what I did with my hoops. Small of the yellow. These are all the keychains that I was able to get done. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Bailey and I'm the owner of Goo Goo Goods. Today's video is going to be kind of another craft fair prep vlog. So this weekend I have Mezzo Market again and this will be the second time I have done Mezzo Market. Um, the first time I did it, it didn't go super great. Mezzo Market is a market that's in St. Petersburg. So that is kind of a far drive for me. I think it's around two hours. And the first time I did it, it was not super successful. I think I made a little bit over $600, which is good in theory, but it's two hours away and like cost like $1.15, I think, to do it. But I'm going to try it again because the last time I felt like my location was not super good. And I also felt that it was really, really cold that day, like really unseasonably cold. So I think that paired with the location made it not as successful as I thought it was going to be. So I thought I would give it another try now that it has definitely warmed up a little bit. And I want to see if my spot is any different and if that kind of contributes to it. So I'm going to be getting ready for that. But today, today is actually Tuesday. I didn't film anything for the vlog yesterday. I actually filmed a TikTok, like a POV of me doing the mama applique. So that's what I did yesterday. And today during nap i think what i'm going to do is i need to pack an order and i'm also going to continue like doing some more organization because as you can see i moved the wooden shelf behind me and it is starting to look pretty good in here um i just want to do a couple more organization things in here because i'd like to clear this table and maybe bring another table in here to make kind of more room for packing embroidery like just make it a little bit more streamlined in here instead of just kind of having clutter um, I think that'll make it so that my work processes are a little bit easier and I think it'll be good to kind of know what I have in terms of blanks and I'm also trying to start doing a better job at budgeting for um, what I make because I have a lot of blanks that I've had for a while that I've not done anything with and I think it's probably a good idea to start reeling back in the spending so that is what i'm going to be working on today and i also want to film a video that i want to have posted on thursday and it's going to be like a like how i got started video because i get asked that a lot so i'm gonna work on trying to film that i kind of wrote a script for that a little bit um so i don't forget anything so i'm probably gonna work on filming that and trying to get that edited and also probably this week to prep for mezzo market i think what i'm going to try to do is learn how to sew key fobs because i think that's the thing that i would like to start offering learn how to do key fobs keychains and then possibly like little um i want to learn how to do like belt bags like quilted belt bags because i think that would be really really cute that's probably not a this week project the belt bags but key fobs are definitely a this week's project so yeah, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and get started and pack my order so that I can get it out the door because I have a couple things I have to drop off, a couple of orders I need to drop off at UPS tonight when Ethan comes home. So yeah, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and pack up an order. The order I'm packing today is for Laura and she got the cream floral bouquet tumbler and she also got two of our vinyl decals. She got one of the pink cutie pie club and then one of the teal cutie pie club. And so I think what I'm going to do to kind of like save packaging is I'm actually just going to put these decals down in the side of this. Also because my little bags I think are actually still at the storage unit. So I need to get those kind of soon. Okay, so I've got that. I think I'm just gonna wrap it in this extra little thing of bubble wrap just to make sure that it's nice and protected. I'm gonna do this one over. little taken and then I'm gonna put it in a bag just because I want to make sure that nothing falls out okay and then I'm gonna put my packing slip in there and let me actually also grab my thank you note go ahead and write my thank you note real quick okay I got my packing slip in there and I'm gonna go ahead and put my thank you card that in there i think what i'm going to do is i know it's kind of like a big bag but i think this is the best bag for the job and i think the last time i did this 
I've not shipped a ton of the tumblers. I mostly sell my tumblers at like the craft fairs. So I'm not like super good at tagging them yet. But I think what I'm gonna do is put it to one side. that is going to be how it is and I think what I'm going to do to kind of like tighten it a little bit is use my your order was packed on YouTube sticker to, to tape it down like that perfect okay, and now I'm going to put the address sticker and it should be good to go All right, good to go. Before I start filming the how I got started video, I thought I would kind of give you a little tour on what the office room is looking like right now. It's definitely still a work in progress, but I think it looks a lot better than what it did. So let's just go ahead and do a little walk around. The room itself is pretty small, so it's kind of hard to get a good angle on everything that's in here. But if you can remember, there were two black shelves here, but now I have put my wooden shelf here and I've got some of my hooping stuff up here, my um, sewing machine. I'm gonna put another thing right there. I might put my little label printer right there. And then the big hooping station and then the heat press. And I've got some ideas about what to put here. I'm thinking putting fabric and kind of just like sewing notions there, but I might put them over here. So this is looking pretty bare right now. So I'm trying to think about how best to organize this, especially that lower part. That's kind of a hot mess. And then over here is like fabric and really big bags. And those are actually weights that I thought I had somehow lost, but they're actually just right there. And this is what the table is looking like right now. It's obviously pretty cluttered, but I'm gonna move the stabilizers probably over here. And then I had a shelf here. I moved that into the other room. So that room, which is like on that side, is like our guest room. And I put some shelves in there with some of the inventory to clear up space in here. And I've got my embroidery machine. And then I've got an extra room that I've actually never opened. But one day, one day I'll open it. I mostly just vacuum in here or use the Roomba. So yeah, that is what it is looking like in here. And I think it's going to make my filming background look a little bit cuter and neater and also just make it so I can, you know, more easily access these things. But yeah, that is what we are looking like so far. If I'm able to get done with the How I Got Started video before the boys wake up, then I will check back in and see what I want to get started. Oh, I also forgot to mention, here's what I did with my hoops. I don't think I showed that. So I had these little hooks from um, the grid wall and I just put them on here and put my hoops on there. So I thought that was a really good use for those. And I did the same on this side. So yeah, so now my hoops are stored pretty good. And this was also like a little tip that Hoop Master said. You put your like little hoop or like your bottom hoop. It's not little, it's the same size. You put the bottom hoop like turn around and just on top and it's magnetized to it and it's easy to take on and off. So yeah, that's a hot little tip right there. Okay, so I'm gonna get to filming the How I Got Started video. So I'll check in either after that tonight um, or tomorrow. I just finished filming the How I Got Started video and I am so bad about talking about stuff where like I want to remember everything because I definitely like drone on a little bit and I can go into way more detail than is probably necessary. So I'll start talking and then I'll kind of catch myself rambling and ranting kind of like how I'm doing now. And so like I have to restart because I don't want to sound dumb. So yeah, so I got that done and it took me way longer than it probably should have. And I'll probably start to work on editing that in just a second. But before I start doing that, I thought that I would actually like show you the fabrics that I got at Hobby Lobby over the weekend to make the keychains that I'm gonna work on tomorrow. And yeah, I'll work on them tomorrow, probably tomorrow through Thursday, not Thursday, tomorrow through Friday. Um, and I kind of just showed you them briefly, but I thought I would kind of go over them in a little bit more detail and show them with a little bit more, a little bit more focus um, and talk to you about them. And I tried to go for patterns where the pattern was like kind of smaller since the keychains are just gonna be about like an inch 
wide you don't really have like a ton of space to be able to see a pattern and I was a little bit um, disappointed with the fabric selection from Hobby Lobby and I usually feel like they do a good job so I was looking at Joann's and Joann's had really cute ones online so I may just have to get some online but these are the ones I got and I do like these but I feel like they do kind of look pretty similar um, so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and show you them the first one also I'm like a sucker for florals and bees so you're gonna see a lot of that so the first one is this small little floral print so I've got that oh also side note I got into the May Milk Mart so I'm really excited because I wasn't able to do the one last month because I had like an issue with like scheduling so I'm really excited about that and last time I was gonna do the pick a spot and be in the same spot that I was in the first time but I think I'm gonna leave it up a chance this time I think I'm gonna leave it up a chance and see like try out a new spot she may put me in the same spot I don't know but I thought I would try out a different spot and see how that goes okay so that's unrelated to the fabric but I also got this really cute mushroom one and I'm hoping that this works out with the keychain because it's not you know super close together but I thought that was so cute that I could not I couldn't not get it so I got that one and then I got this cute yellow this cute little yellow one also floral yellow floral and then this looks kind of similar to the first one but I thought the colors were really cute There's that one and then this is kind of similar colors to that first one but it's polka dots and little bees yeah so I love those so those are going to be the fabrics that I'm working on probably what I'm going to do now is like I said try to like get this area a little bit more organized and then kind of just get everything ready so that tomorrow when I want to start to sew everything's good to go also another thing that I'm going to work on tonight and this is just be complaining a little bit I remitted my sales tax to Florida for 2023 and I guess like I made like a miscalculation or like didn't fill out this one part right and it says like I owe like an extra like $25 which is like fine like I can like pay that extra $25 but I got a penalty for not paying the $25 originally so now it's like you owe a hundred dollars and so I'm just like a little bit annoyed about that and I called about it and they just said that I have to do an amended return and then fax them a letter saying that I misunderstood and I did misunderstand that's true and they may waive the um, like the penalty fee but I just feel like why are you penalizing me for trying to pay my taxes because I know there are a lot of people that aren't paying their taxes and are not like remitting their sales tax to the government why am I being penalized for doing so so yeah that's really annoying so I'm going to do the amended return tonight and then I guess figure out where a fax machine is I think there's a fax machine at UPS so I need to hand write my letter to take to UPS I guess when I drop off my orders so yeah that is what I'm going to be working on for the remainder of today so I'll check in tomorrow and hopefully be learning how to sew some key fobs happy Wednesday so I'm all set up and ready to sew my first little uh key fob wristlet keychain thing so i've got my sewing machine ready and i've got everything ready to go i've got my fabric my cutting mat um, my hardware everything is ready to go here so all i need to do is cut my fabric cut my interfacing iron that together and then sew it so hopefully i have not forgotten how to sew because it has been a while since i have done that and I also thought I would share that while I'm doing that, I'm going to be listening to my audiobook. I've been listening to the Hunger Games prequel, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, I think is the name of the book. And I'm almost done. I'm like 80% done. And I actually cried listening to it yesterday while I was at the Y. Um, so yeah, it's a really, really sad book. And if you've read The Hunger Games or seen The Hunger Games, you know that it's obviously like really, really sad content. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to be listening to while I'm doing that because after I'm done with that I've got New Moon, the second Twilight book, is ready for me to check out so I'm going to do that. I think I might need to invest in getting like an actual iron because I tried to use my Cricut Mini Press to iron out the creases of the fabric before I cut it and 
it didn't really work super good so I may have to invest in that so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this and hopefully it turns out cute I've got high hopes so let's just go ahead and get started trees are in green the ocean is gray sky is a vague blue come away my room is a mess it could use a hand my favorite TV shows are capturing I know my scared to ride must get back in the fight this can't be a surprise I think I'll let it slide I'm I think that that was an excellent first try. I think that that looks so good. I might do a couple more practice ones and try to like figure out the different sizings of things. I think that I'm going to try to have like a um, small, a medium, a large, and then an extra large size. Definitely the hardest part of that was the putting on the like, key fob hardware. That was pretty tricky and I do kind of have a little bit of loose thread on the side that I was trying to fix with the Mod Podge, but I guess I didn't. I'm trying to figure out, yeah, I'm trying to figure out the best way to put this hardware on because that was a little tricky because I kind of have a little bit of some bunching. I don't know if you can see because of me, but I have like a little bit of bunching where I guess like I was trying to like make sure it was in there too good that I kind of bunched it up on one side. But I think that overall that that looks really, really good. And I definitely think practice is going to make perfect. But I feel like for my first one, that is really, really good. So I'm probably going to go ahead and start sort of like a assembly line of making these. So try to get a lot of fabric cut. Or maybe I won't do the assembly line yet. I'll start doing the different sizes of it. And I don't have a ton of this fabric left. But I'm going to try to get all my different sizes made for comparison's sake because yeah I would like to be able to make small medium large extra large and I actually ordered new bigger hardware um that's like instead of this one which is like one inch I also ordered some like 1.25 inches or maybe 1.5 so those will get here tomorrow so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and get to cutting and sewing
sewing and making the four test size keychains I definitely want to make one bigger one like I was talking about earlier where I got bigger hardware and the trickiest thing is definitely putting the hardware on because using this little guy is a little bit tricky but overall I think it went really really well so let me see the sizes I have right now so I've got this small one and then this medium one and this slightly longer one and then this one and i obviously like i said earlier i'm going to get the wider hardware for um for an even bigger one so this is a one inch piece hardware but i think i ordered a 1.25 or 1.5 but that is what they are looking like and i think that looks so cute i'll probably have like small medium i feel like these I made these too close in size, I feel. So I feel like I would go maybe this one. It's like small, medium, large, and then the extra large size. So I love that. I could even make a longer one than this. I might do that in the future. But I think those turned out so good. So you can be like this, pow, pow, pow. Like this, pow, pow, pow. Or then I'll probably go with the small one. But I do like the long one because I put my keys like in my um, bike shorts pocket a lot but I think that these look great so I think tomorrow I'll be able to knock out a bunch maybe tonight I'll do a lot of like uh, fabric prep but I think that that is going to be good so my kids are starting to wake up so I'm gonna go ahead and handle that situation but yeah very very successful trial of making some keychains Happy Thursday, so today I am going to work on cutting the stabilizer out of the back of all of the Mama Applique sweatshirts that I have. So I'm gonna try to do that really, really quickly. And last night I prepped some of the uh, wristlets. So I've got a couple of what I'm considering to be the small, medium, large, and then I also might do a mini one. So I might get to that, I might not but I'm gonna try to go ahead and get these sewn and ready. And I also prepped some of the mushrooms for my 1.25 that got delivered today. So I'm gonna try to see how those look, but I hope that they look good because I think that is so cute. So I'm hoping to see some of those mushrooms come through. That's what I'm gonna try to get into today. And once I'm done, with sewing the ones that I already have cut out. I might try to prep some more fabric. So yeah, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and get to working on. for 
just got done with two of the small of the yellow and yeah this is the 1.25 and i think that i'm just gonna have to use the mushroom fabric for something else because it's super duper cute and you can't really even tell how cute it is with this size i don't know if 1.5 inches across would be a good a good size to use but i feel like that's just gonna be too big for a keychain but i do like how thick that is so i'll use maybe some of the floral pattern for the 1.25 because i do like how how wide that is but yeah i think i'm just gonna have to use this fabric for a different project because it's too cute to waste on not seeing the full picture so yeah so i think probably what i'm going to do for the rest of nap time today is maybe just prep a ton of fabric so that it's ready to sew all at once because definitely the part that takes the longest for me is getting the fabric cut and prepped so i'll probably just do a ton of that and then maybe tomorrow just go ahead and knock out all of the sewing that i can so yeah so i'm just gonna go ahead and get to fabric prep are waking up from nap but I did a pretty good job prepping a good many of the fabric pieces with the um, interfacing but kind of a little bit of a womp womp and I did not realize this while I was cutting this fabric um this actually does have like directionality I don't actually know if that's a word but it actually is supposed to go this direction I kind of thought it was similar to this and that it was kind of a mixed direction but no so i'm going to have to use this for a different project because i cut it all wrong and cannot be used because if it if i use it to make a keychain it'd be like that way and that would not make sense so i'm a little bit frustrated that i did that but i can still use it for a different project so yeah i'm gonna go get my kids and probably later tonight i will just do more of the getting these ready to sew tomorrow Happy Friday. So last night I prepped a ton of keychains. I've got this pile and then I've got some more of these and then I've got this pile and then I've got this pile and then I have the rest of the yellow floral and then I have this last of the blue. So yeah, so I've got a ton of sewing to get to today. I didn't count how many I have. I'll probably count and put it on the screen how many bristlets I've got to make today. 
So I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm just gonna go ahead and start my sewing machine and go ahead and try to get all of these sewn and put together and then pack them because I want to pack the car tonight because tomorrow I have to leave pretty early because my setup time is in between like 9.30 and 10.30 and it's about two, two and a half hours away. So I'm gonna have to leave pretty early. So I'm gonna make Ethan pack the car tonight. So I wanna try to get everything ready that I can. I don't know exactly how I'm going to display these tomorrow. So I'm kind of just winging it in that department a little bit. Um, I hope I have, I think the idea is I'm gonna put them on the grid wall with some of my short, like six inch pink uh, hooks for the grid wall. And hopefully that will be how I want to display them. And obviously since this is my first market where I'm gonna have them, I definitely am gonna have to figure out a good way to have them uh, set up in the future. But I think the grid wall is gonna be a good idea. I'm thinking about maybe getting like a small, tiny like tabletop grid wall for the inside of my booth where like I have the stack of shelves, like the plastic shelves in the back, like maybe put a small tabletop grid wall on top of that. Um, Cause I also think I want to make the top shelf of that thing, maybe like a sewn good. So I want to do the keychains, but there are also a couple of other sewn items that I want to start making that I guess I'm gonna start working on next week. So yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into this so that I can go ahead and get it done. done with as much as I wanted to today my voice kind of like didn't really want to nap so I kind of just let them play a little bit while I tried to get as much sewing done as possible but I've got all of them officially sewn um, I went ahead and Mod Podge you saw it um, probably on the video a couple of them so all I have left to do is Mod Podge the edges of these obviously cut them apart because they're a big long little one that's cute Okay, so I just need to cut these, Mod Podge these, and then put the hardware on them. So that's what I'm going to work on tonight. So I'm going to leave it off there and check in later tonight and probably show you putting the hardware on these guys. It's Friday night and I was trying to get all of the hardware put on so I would have all of the keychains ready for tomorrow. But I think I'm just going to call it because it's like almost 9 o'clock and I need to pack these up and kind of get some bins ready to put on the back of the car. Um, but I'll show you what I've got done so far and then yeah, I'm gonna call it a night for sure. These are all the keychains that I was able to get done and these ones are ones that I did the Mod Podge on and they are drying. So I probably won't do those, I'll just do those next week. 
but I've got a couple of the, well, this is the only pattern that has the 1.25 and then the rest are just like the one inch, but I've got about two of the large, two of the medium. I think I got no, three of the medium, two of the largest, and then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of the small ones. And then I've got two of these ones, two of the mediums of these ones, and then two of the small of those. And then I have the butterfly print, and then I have the floral print. So I think this turned out really, really good. It definitely took me a really long time, but I'm really, really happy with how these turned out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get these ready to pack up in a bin. Now that I'm about to call it night, I'm also probably going to go ahead and end the vlog here because the next time you see me, I'll be heading down to St. Petersburg in the morning for my market. So yeah, setup is 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. And like I said, it's about like a two, two and a half hour drive. So I need to get up pretty early. So I need to go ahead and get all of my batteries charged and go ahead and pack my go bag and try to get everything ready so that in the morning I can just hit the road. So if you did like this video, please be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe for more behind the scenes small business content and crafter vlogs. And hopefully I see you in the next one. The next time you see me, I'll be going down to Meta Market. Thanks for watching. Bye. Space, but we could risk been waiting for the right day, like the right day ever comes. Now it's Friday, and nothing's changed. Mistake.